So as of August 2023, some users are finding that they are having problems uninstalling apps that they've previously installed on Fire TV sticks. Now this video is going to show you how you can get around the problem and still uninstall the apps to free up more space. And it's also just going to discuss which Fire TV products the problem is is currently affecting. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to make sure you see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, users are having problems uninstalling apps. And what's happening is if, for instance, if you go into the cog on the right over there, go down to applications, then go down to manage installed applications and remove an app. So I'm going to try removing the Apple TV app. So I've highlighted it and I'm going to press the play pause button and it says to you, OK, do you want to uninstall the app? It tells you how much space it's going to free up and that it, it will also be deleted from all non-child profiles. Are you sure you want to continue? So let's just do that. Let's just hit confirm and you get this uninstalling application, but it actually stays on st uninstalling application. Now, it doesn't matter how long you leave that for it just doesn't tend to go away. I've left it for half an hour at times and no, it just has stuck on uninstalling application. And the only way that you can actually get out of that screen is just to press the home button on the remote. Now it may not go back to the home screen straight away. It may take a minute or so to go back to it. But then when you go back to the, uh, the, the, the list of installed applications, the application you tried to uninstall is still there. Now, as far as I can tell, the problem is affecting second generation Fire TV sticks running Fire OS 5.2.9.5. Now, if you want to know how to find out what Fire OS you're running, then just press the home button on the remote control, go across to the settings cog and then go down to My Fire TV, middle button. Then make sure About's highlighted, middle button. And there we go, in there on the right hand side, about three quarters of the way down the screen, you will see the Fire OS version. Now mine's a 4K Mac, so it's not affecting mine, thankfully. But if you do have another Fire TV stick with a different Fire OS than 5.2.9.5 and are having this problem, please let us know. It would be interesting to know if the problem is more widespread than what we know about. But like I say at the moment, it seems to only be affecting second generation Fire TV sticks running Fire OS 5.2.9.5. So how do you get round this? problem. Well, first of all, let's just press the home button on the remote control just to go back to the home screen, then press and hold the home button on the remote control until this appears, then let go. Then go across to apps, middle button, find the app that you want to remove and highlight it. Then press the three horizontal lines on the remote control. That's the button to the right of the home button and then go down to uninstall and middle button and then just confirm that you want to uninstall it, middle button, and hopefully the icon should disappear after a few seconds. If it still doesn't disappear, then what we need to do is we need to download an app. So let's just go to the home screen again, press the home button, then go across to the magnifying glass, go down to search middle button and just type in there X P. L O R E. And as you're typing it, you should see Explore File Manager appear in the suggestions underneath the on screen keyboard. Highlight that middle button. And then you're looking for this blue and uh, red X just there, the blue background with a red Explore. So highlight that middle button and then middle button again to install it from here. Now, if your device is an old second gen device, then this is going to take a while to download and install. So just be patient. Once it's installed, installing will change to either done 
or open. There you go, mine's gone to open. So middle button on the remote control and explore will load. Now this is very important. You need to allow explore to access photos, media and files on your device. If you deny it, it's not gonna work. So make sure that allows highlighted middle button. Then you wanna go down on the left-hand side there to app manager, highlight that middle button and then go down to installed, highlight that middle button and you should see an A to Z listing of all your apps. So find the app you want to delete, go down to it, highlight it, press and hold the middle button on the remote control until this sub menu appears, then let go, go down to delete, middle button. And then it says, do you want to delete? So yep, go to OK, middle button. And then it says, do you want to uninstall this app? OK. And there you go, it then uninstalls it and hopefully if I go back to my list of apps so let's just go back to the home screen press and hold the middle button on the remote control go across to settings middle button go down to manage installed apps middle button and there we go the Apple TV app that I wasn't able to uninstall the other way has now disappeared so let us know in the comments down below what your experience is of all this, if this worked for you, if it didn't work for you, if there was any other ways you found to uninstall apps. And like I say, more importantly, if you have had this problem and it's not been on a second gen Fire Stick running Fire OS 5.2.9.5, then let us know what stick you've got or what cube you've got or what device you've got. It could be a Fire TV as well, of course. Um, but let us know the device you've got and the Fire OS version that you're running. Hopefully Amazon will sort this out soon. Obviously a good way to try and resolve these problems is to constantly check for updates. So go down to My Fire TV, middle button, and then go into About, go down to Check for Updates, middle button on the remote control and let it check to see if there's any updates. And if there is any updates, let it download and let it install. Repeat this a few times. Maybe also try rebooting the stick by pressing and holding the middle button on the remote control and the play pause button together. Let it reboot. And then once you've done that, go back again to the settings cog and then go down to MiFi TV again. Go into about, down to check for updates, middle button, and just check for updates again. Do that a few times because sometimes there are updates still waiting to come through, but often, it needs to be rebooted before the next lot of updates will download and install. So hopefully, as I say, this problem will be sorted out soon by Amazon. If it's not and you've got no way of uninstalling apps, then please get in touch with Amazon via their Amazon forums and report the issue. I hope you like this video and if you did, why not help support this channel? In the description down below, we've got links taking you to VPNs, Fire Sticks and Fire Stick accessories. If you're in the market for any of those, then have a look and consider purchasing or subscribing through those links below. It really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to researching and making these videos for you. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, waiting for you, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.